to educate people about advanced care, doing advanced care planning or the end of life care or all of the above? Because <laughs> they're two separate things Absolutely. and advanced care planning Absolutely. is very hard to do. It, it takes a lot of time yes. um, and even very highly skilled nurses struggle with this and even GPs don't yes. do it very well. In fact, a lot of GPs don't want to talk about it. Exactly why it's not done very well. Yeah. So, um, again, our role is to provide training days around the elements of the toolkit and, uh, for instance, the element around, and we talked about this this morning, advanced care planning, it may be that we involve the respecting patient choices to present that session, but alongside that the facility does need to take on board um, perhaps linking into the Respecting Patient Choices Program for extra education and training of staff, because I absolutely agree, mm. it's a skill. Mm. It's a knowledge and a skill, mm. and you can't just innately have that mm. conversation. I don't know whether you want to comment on that. Yeah, look, I, I think that's... And you'll, you can see by the evaluation results that, <clears throat> that I showed you that I don't think that we probably had enough time and, and, um, and, and probably expended enough effort to really upskill the staff um, to the point and <clears throat> we didn't have the um, luxury of sending people to respecting patient choices um, because you've got it free in Victoria but not everybody does in the country. So, um, and maybe that's not the answer. Maybe people don't like respecting patient choices but, um, you know, I think innately um, as care managers, um, as, as staff that work with older people, um, that you do have maybe not the full skills to go through the nitty-gritty of the legal, you know, this is what the legal document says and this is who you can appoint and, and whatever. And I don't know that that's necessarily completely your role anyway. About advanced care planning is, as I say, it's about having the conversation and, and just making people aware um, that, you know, you have choices. It's about knowing people's values, um, respecting people's wishes. Um, so I think at, at one level we can all do it. Um, you know, I think even without training, people can do it. Um, but it's it's really about how to formalise that in your in your setting. And the more training that you can have, the better at it you're going to be. Um, but it is a conversation with the family, the resident, the GP. Um, you know, it's not just and it's not one conversation. So. So um, I'm, I'm part of the mobile assessment treatment service from Alfred Health. So we provide oh, yes. medical care yep. for people with residential care. This is the resi in reach. And so um, your statistics on advanced care planning is a lot better than we have. We've done our own little um, audit and we found that 30% of patients that we see have got an advanced care of some sort, but the content in it, in it mm. is very variable and sometimes mm. it has very little in it. It might just say not for something. Yes, yeah. Stop. yeah. Which is not, which is really, doesn't tell us much. Mm. Really almost yeah. irrelevant. So mm. I think uh, what, what I really uh, am attracted to uh, by Deb's work is um, the notion of what I think you already do in aged care, and that is um, care planning from admission to death. Mm. So it's conversation from admission to death about how that person wants to live in the facility. Mm. Would you not agree? Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, it's, it's an ongoing, I think if you just separate out some of those things, you know, if you just do an end of life care plan, but you can, you can start yeah. with that. It's just like, mm. well, 24 hours before is too late. <laughs> you know? mm. 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 Yeah. 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 I completely agree because if the conversation has been had with the family, so later on when there is a catastrophe mm. and a doctor has to talk to them, they've heard it before. Yes, it's exactly. It's no surprise. So any yeah. conversation, <clears throat> even if it's not documented, yeah. is helpful. Yeah. So we uh, completely yeah. support the idea. Yeah.